once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. Oh, my file was imported to this game. Uh-oh, I don't know if I did good in that file. too heavy for you a few days ago. <sighs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. Our dog grew up. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. So how do I use the powers again? Hold E to interact. You could try and lift mushroom. Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. We almost killed a dog in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> This one looks too heavy. Sometimes he looks so scared of himself. We need to work this through. Uh, what else is there? Shooting range? Not your usual <laughs> shooting range, right? I don't. I guess you can hold that, right? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Okay, let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. I guess I can't go that way. I mean, these rocks look so heavy. Daniel is learning so fast. 
wonder what the limits are. No fucking clue what happened to Daniel. But at least I can, can help. Can you throw this rock in the river? Oh, yeah. Just watch. Oh, there's a rock all the way over there. How do I click on that one? Welcome to Telekinesis 101. Please don't kill your teacher. Love. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. I already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just one more time. So am I supposed to try the bigger rocks or what? There's all these are bigger. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's see, it's getting late and cold. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's get done with this practice session. Oh, we have money still. You can look at this before? Eduardo. Okay, she need help with math. Wow. All right, I guess we'll just try selecting the bigger ones. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. <sighs> I'll try. Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest oh. rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <laughs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool. Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Adjust your throwing strength? This is the least I could throw. <laughs> Sean! You suck! I said don't hit me, jerk! Sorry, I thought you would stop it. Serious. Was I... Was I not supposed to throw it at him? Nani? I thought he was gonna stop it himself there. Aw, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? Sean. I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. 
That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Do I feel it up here? No. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I see it. We should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. Here we go. The helitaker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. Damn, uh, bad influence. What? What did you find, Shroom? Finding that house was a miracle. Oh, come but I'm afraid we can't Not stay again. here much longer. Gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. A family of rabbits lives out here. <sighs> Just like us. Uh, Sean? Hey, it's been a while mm -hmm. since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear or worse. <laughs> What's worse than a bear and I know? I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> Don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> oh! Let's not mess with it. I don't know if I could... gut an animal anyway. What? Baby, you killed a rabbit. Uh, are you getting hungry? Not really. Really? I'm getting hungry. I can. You eat like a bear, but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. <sighs> we really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, good They're dog. really <laughs> badass. The musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, You're puppy? such a good girl. It's voice is overlapping himself. <laughs> oh, Mushroom is so funny out to check our traps today. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. <laughs> she loves it. Hey, get over here. Is there anything over here? Careful, little puppy. Don't catch a cold. What is that thing on the top? The arrow? Am I doing something? Daniel's not getting any better. He needs medicine. In a real house. Runaway millennials. And part-time forest squatters. At your service. How old are these kids today? I'm gonna check around the house, I guess. Before we go in. I still don't know what that arrow is on the top right. Daniel helps me slice wood by holding the logs with his power. Pretty useful. Too bad this wood is rotten. We had to cut some more to keep the house warm. Is there... I don't, I don't know if going too far would be bad. Hopefully not. What's that? Wooden stick. I train Daniel. Daniel can train Shroom. Hey, Inano. Shroom needs some exercise too, right?
Where is he at? Oh, okay. <laughs> Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside. Want to fetch mushroom? Huh? There you go. <laughs> Did it. Go, girl. Yeah. Good girl. But he doesn't have it. Nani. <laughs> All right, that was weird. Fucking miracle we found this place three weeks ago. Wait, something hit our trap? You can't really name Birch, right? Probably the name of a child who used to live here. Probably. It would be like a school project and they put their name on it. Old canoe. We have to talk about it. Sean, the family who owned that traps? cabin really seem to enjoy themselves here. Why never come back? Wildlife One, Daniel Ciro. I guess. All right, there's like a lot of stuff to do, but they're like, oh, you gotta go back. But I guess I did because I basically went all around. It's so silent out here. No neighbors. No roads. It's like Must have been a really planet. sweet spot to get a tan in the summer. A new planet. That's exactly what we need. Yeah, are these all our footsteps? Check the couch. So cold. But my raccoon sweater is the best. Oh, did I steal that? Yeah, not my kind of weeds. Weeds. Oh, I can sit. I feel like this month has just flied over us. We're so lucky we found that old cabin. Gave us time to rest and process all that happened. Prody was right. We're stronger now. We look out for each other. We're in this together. These woods are so peaceful. So quiet. No planes, no highways. Just the river. Continuously flowing. I wish we could stay here longer. But Daniel's health is getting worse every day. And the food is running low. Will we need to move? Again? inside now we had to use Daniel's gift to break in Ooh, cold don't worry we'll make a fire we're pros now Dude, that cuff doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh. It's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... 
Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Uh, uh, Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know. Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh... I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse or something. Hey, we have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> what if his power decreases his life? We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe too fast. Hmm. He's progressing. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. Put my lighter. What sadistic things you have in mind today? Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. Daniel would have been mad without these. Hot dog man. Damn, one dollar. My muster is fantastic. High school feels so far away now. This is all he has? Yikes. I just stole them. I don't think I got everything last time. Ooh, this is what I get. Poggers. Let me just pre-order bonus. Oh, what? I only have one at a time, Nani? Oh, I can put these. All right, I think I have one more here. Which one should I do? I guess I do the butterfly. 
What is, how does it look now? Oh, I can't even see it. Daniel needs a doggo friend. Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. I'll remember this, traitor. Mecha robot ready for takeoff. He's not even in this room. Two. Magic. The space scuba. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. It's kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. Shoot. Poor doggy's out of water. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Tanya must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. He drew boobs. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Say hello to your little girl in Miami. Yes, there's a sun here and it burns. I love it. Tom knows everybody and I keep waiting to meet Scarface, Rise friend's killer condo with a beach view and balcony. I feel so spoiled, but I know John's at a castle in the house, so I don't feel so bad. Plus, I really like it here. What a great way to start the new century. I miss our vacation at the Secret Lodge, but I don't miss the raccoons in my room. Hope you can come visit soon after summer. Love you, Maggie. Oh, so that is her name. Daddy Hill. Okay. <laughs> I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. You can't take that? There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but... Helped staying warm. What the fuck, so he drank it? This thing is strong as a rock. Hey, so I did customize it actually. Maybe I should change it to this one. This one's the hot dog man, so cute though. Alright. Have it like a different one every episode or something. Uh, do I get more wood outside? Oh, I gotta find my lighter actually. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Taking pictures of alien species, then report to base. <laughs> so he yelled mushroom sit in literally the next room. <laughs> yep. No more indoor training sessions. And he assumed mushroom did sit. Poggers. Pro tip. Always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Hello, motel room soap. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. <sighs> Too risky. Once you get used to squatting, eh, it's not so bad. Nope. <laughs> it's nasty, yeah. Uh... Drying clothes. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. At least we have fresh water in our front yard. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Um, okay. You might as well take a bath at the river and then drink and then boil it for drinking water. <sighs> No more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. Damn. This is rank. 
Sharing with Daniel was the worst. That's the worst, but not shitting in a bucket. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Thanks, Hank. Dickhead. Oh, yeah, we stole that. Ha. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. This reminder for your scheduled chemotherapy appointment at the Hope Patient Center on September 8th at 2 p.m. Rip. This, that's sad. Ooh, lighter. This thing has saved our ass. It's a time to get warm. <sighs> no excuse not to binge read. What is it? Of course. He's the town fucking hero now. Two Seattle runaways believed to be responsible for the death of Seattle police officer in October. Hank Stamper, owner of the gas station off Highway 5 in the Pillow community said he confronted the two brothers. Oh my god. So he knows our name too? Attacked him before escaping the wood. Yeah, I was scared. You know how crazy kids can be these days. How can I feel bad for him? That's a lot of words. Oh, Officer Philip Matthew was killed. It was the same regarding the threat she received in online critics of the officer. Oh, this is his family. I mean, they both lost. We lost our dad, and they lost their dad. Equality. <laughs> Wonder where Brody is now. Oh, yeah. No internet. I think I read this last episode. But damn, Brody, you're writing. I'm used to ink, so... This will be different. Oh, we could draw. I have to dead for a week. But at least we got some news. Mm, I guess that's it. Oh, these are all my stuff. What? He threw that. Gotta love one hit wonders. Who's that? Kinda reminds me of Dad's cheesy posters. I can't even walk through. Uh, is that it? Since I got the lighter? Alright. Pretty cool house, I guess. Can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. <gasps> Starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Um, Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. I could start Daniel's delivery service. That'd be an amazing idea. This hot dog man issue is kinda weird. These were all I found when I hit the town last week. <laughs> Tough choice. How you doing, Mushroom? Better You're talk to Daniel after dinner. I'm just glad we found you. Uh, what do I do? Hey, what are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli? Okay, okay. <sighs> Come on. Never I'm so noticed. tired of eating the same shit. Mm. I just want one slice of pizza. Oh, we gotta talk first. What? It was published before you were even born, Sean. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. 
I miss him so much. It hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Barbara Thump, indeed. Hmm. That was a good discussion. Good talk. Oh, I still can't open the food. Oh, God, what am I missing? <laughs> that marsh burger totally looks like mushroom. <coughs> Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really think so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm, I think we'd know it by now. What is that supposed to mean? How would you know it? I need to look through his shit while he's out there. Oh! Ha! <laughs> no way I'm touching that. That's a little weird. Man. I miss listening to music so fucking much. <sighs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Dude, that was a shit. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that it? Nothing else around? Basically inspect it while he's gone. We really lucked out stumbling into this house. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. Oh, that's warming up. Feels so good. I wish we had a big fireplace. Like in Seattle. Remember? Of course I remember. You always got sick on s'mores. And ruined the toilet. Yeah. I missed that time. I know. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. I have to be back in the searching time. What's gonna be burned, huh? Go outside a draw? Would I burn? Uh oh. Please don't burn. Oh no, doggo. Go back in. Time to take the pen, dude. Oh yeah, this one was like, I didn't like fix it from the first episode. Okay, got it. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Hell yeah. Shading, bitch. Add some contrast. Come on, girl. Let's get back in. Oh my god, please don't burn. Is it done? Alright. Seems warm enough. <sighs> okay. Dinner's ready.
getting sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, Mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. I gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Shroom, I can't get mad at you. Stop being so damn cute. What? I don't want to force the doggo to move. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. What a great team. I don't exist. Oh, my God. Here it is. For fuck's sake. Time to play dad, Doc. Sean! There's someone at the door! What the? When did he show up? I don't know. I just saw him now. Close the blinds. Sean! Mother of... Daniel! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. Oh my god, I'm a bad parent. <laughs> you almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Anyway. Okay, I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... Don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... For what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. 
We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Oh god. I don't I don't want a dick on my backpack. Rules. No new crew without a captain, no captain without a ship. A ship is six, captain's fire crew is four on a ship. The captain and a crew are complete. Only then you could use a lost dice to score some loot. Player with the highest loot ever? Over 20 wins the game. Okay. That's... I don't know how to play. YOLO. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. <sighs> Sheesh. It's a horrible throw, man. Okay. Give me a six. Still incomplete? Jeez. Oh, Sounds like a no score. This ship is mine. Um, yeah. <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. So now I just need a crew. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes. Yes. Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? Poggers. <sighs> you just lucked out. Oh, how do I, what's the difference between? Here you go, cargo. I just cargoed crews. <laughs> Great job, lover. <sighs> Better than nothing. Ah, not the best score, but I'll do better next time. <sighs> You'll see. You wish. Full ship. What? Yeah, yeah. Good job. He's hacking. I need the score now. Pretty please. Ooh, good throw. <sighs> Lame. Pretty good. What? Okay. Let me throw now. Can I get something better this time? Oh, shit. No cr What the hell? What? You're hacking. But... I... You kidding me? I can see the dice rolling, dude. What did I do? You're just finding excuses. Stop cheating, man. You gotta be better than this. Especially now. Whatever. Stop playing? I could stop playing? I mean, I guess it's not a big deal, right? I guess I'll just have a dick on my bag. Can I get something better this time? Use uh, ship. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. What? Probably read all these books. Huh. Boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean we beat Dad? Yeah. You did help me distract them. <laughs> Actually, Dad probably knew we cheated. Fuck. I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. Can I not use 
five again? That's it? This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes! Full ship and cargo. Horrible what number. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. What? Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. Whoa. Daniel the big nerd, getting sick of screens. No way. It's nice for a change. But I still want my playbots. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I hope Noah's keeping our Minecraft fortress alive. For when I come back. I'm sure he is, pal. No way he give up your super kingdom. And I win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes. I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna beat you this time. It's getting late, though. So let's make it short. Okay. Mushrooms growing up so fast. Really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot. But I can tell she's getting older. And smarter. You're a smart girl. Right? <laughs> she's so cute. I love her forever. Fuck. I suck at this game. Okay. Give me a six. Yes! Full ship. This ship is mine. <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. Ahoy! Ooh, I could throw again. All right, guys, we're risking it. All right, now's the time for big numbers. Awesome. You'll do better next time, or not. Rip. That was a little Great. better. Ah, not the best score, but I'll do better next time. You'll see. You wish. Right? I just need a four now. Come on, give me something, anything. Phew, it was a close one. Ah, pretty good. <laughs> okay. Let me throw now. I fucking suck at this game. Can I get something better this time? Come on. I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Still no ship. Seriously? <laughs> Stuck in a harbor. Too bad. <laughs> Yay. No full ship, no score. All right, your turn. Yes! All right, I just need a four now. Yes, ship, captain, and crew. Let's do another one. 
the fuck did you keep going? Nah, let's go. It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. All right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Hey, Daniel, how are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Uh, let's hope nothing bad happens to her. Maybe too fast. We take out food with us. <sighs> Sorry. 
So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. I don't know. I feel like I should be more like, oh, stop cussing and stuff. Hey, cool down. It's gonna be okay. I know. But... What did you pack in? What the f... <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Yeah, I mean, I knew it was a mistake laying the dog out. Is there anything here though? Damn, we took the tent with us? How the fuck did that fit? Wow, this obstacle is in my way. Alright, let's get Agua. What's that door again? do we need? Is that our dishes? I guess it is. Alright, there's nothing else here, I guess. We're forgetting anything with us. Okay. All done. Where the hell is he? Uh-oh. Oh my god, why did we do this? Let's take the backpack and go. Just kidding, let's just go. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? God damn it. He had one job. Should I just go directly there? Alright, I guess it will. Uh, we have a two day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Jason. Jason. I can't even... Oh, you can! Daniel? Where are you? Jason! Good stuff, good stuff. No! I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. My bad. What's that? The bunny? Uh-oh. What the fuck happened here? What's that? Is there something there? Uh. What is this heart beating music? Something's not right. <sighs> That's not good. Uh, is that mushrooms? <laughs> uh oh. Daniel? Oh shit. Daniel! Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Oh 
Oh my god. The dog dead! Already? Oh my god, really? I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I actually don't know what to do. So if I intervene, then would he kill us or some shit? I'm assuming he would kill him if he does throw him back. But basically, if we do let Daniel kill that animal, then he'll get the habit of basically using his powers as a solution for everything. But if I don't, I'm afraid maybe the animal will come back and attack us. I'm thinking of stepping forward and stopping it. Damn it, why did I let the dog out? Who let the dog out, guys? Who let the dog out? <laughs> Hope I don't regret it. Go away! Go! I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. No, it's more brutal than I thought. I didn't think he would take Mushroom. That was so fucked up. But Mushroom was already dead, so... Here, you should do it. That's it. It's bullshit. We can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you, you snuggled. And I'll never forget you. Never. Good girl. Rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With dad? Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. 
That's it, the room. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <sighs> They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long. We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. 
Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or, or something? We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Maybe we should call Gus. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just... Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Feels so awkward to be here. Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. You all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, it if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? I mean, I technically didn't. I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but 
All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? That is a good point, Grandma. Um, for that? It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and, and I freaked out. Oh, I know. You poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? If I tell my grandparents, will they report me that I'm going to Mexico? I have a feeling they might figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... Really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no circus. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. 
Oh shit, you can reject it. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And uh everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Um, Grandma would be mad. Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel. I understand, but we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We got to make ours, and we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your, well, you know. I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. And here are mice. That's it. Can't read it. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Oh, where's mom? I have a feeling that we're gonna meet mom at the end. Oh, man. I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. That's a weird picture. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. Not my wolf. Uh, what's happening? All right. I'm allowed to go out now. Oh my god, what the fuck is he doing? That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Oh, there's a tent. The player. I can't believe he took that toy with him, but okay. Ooh. How do I scroll down? Oh. Damn, we still have this? Holy shit. How do we fit that? Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. Poor dude. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Wait, why was pajamas spelled with a Y? Is that how it's supposed to be spelled? I think I looked at everything. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Choo choo! So careful, Chief. They're going too fast. We have to. We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> I don't care. Faster! Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. I'm glad they get along so good. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I won't. Oh. Oh shit, that's the tiny ass stairs. Poggers, real house boys. Oh. Come on. <sighs> Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. Damn, why don't you just buy a new one? <sighs> it's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. Yes. Better not snoop. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. So much traffic in town. Do we have enough fuel? This engine runs on charcoal, Chief. Ooh, that's true. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. 
quite the change from our last home. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. You will. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. You know, I take a shower? What? You guys want to take a shower in the morning? Or brush your teeth? Nanny? Alright, I guess that is it here. We have to! We're late on schedule! Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice house. I don't care! Faster! We spent the whole week locked up in the house. Will things ever go back to normal? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna go this way real quick. Don't want to miss out on anything. It's a little similar to the other houses. Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Man. Claire's food smells so good. I'm starving. Toilet. Toilet's free. I like how to label it free. It's not already known. <laughs> Man. Ooh. Claire's food smells so good. I'm starving. Oh my god, wait, are they the neighbor next door to Chris? Oh god. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa's showing me a pop star. Steven. Your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo choo! Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but. Not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Um, that's nice. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Stop it, you 
crazy? Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. Oh, and I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, OK? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, OK? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. I feel like both of these answers are rude. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, OK? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, OK? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. I miss Dad and his silly. Santa Gringo accent. What does that sound like? It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. Wait, so Grandma and Grandpa don't know why our mom's gone? Mm. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. She would be brutal. Hold on. Yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home. Put clothes in washing machine. Hug grandparents. That is so weird. Okay, whatever. Everything else, huh? What's this? Oh. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Daniel's going nuts in here. Can I help out with the laundry? As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. If you do laundry, please follow these simple rules. Do not mix, mix whites and colors ever. Use one can of detergent. Red box for each load. If you wash my clothes, use the delicate cycle do you don't ruin any more of my clothes oh so you don't ruin okay love wife <laughs> is it <sighs> oh wait Shoot. switch it off i don't know what's this Can I look at other stuff? Ooh. What's even the point of having so much crockery? 
I'm done. All right, hold on. Let's see what Grandma up to. What? He's letting him play with firecrackers again? Oh my God! Oh, for Christ's sakes! I get why Dad never brought us down here. Aw, you had a dog? Yes. Old Polly left us three years ago, but she's still with us, day after day. Isn't she in I wonder heaven? where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Stephen as world travelers. But she's in our thoughts as well. That's nice. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. See you tonight, buddy. Claire can drop pretty damn good. Maybe that's where my jeans came from. Guess it runs in the family. Yes. So, is mom the artist, Lund? Or it just passed down? I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Ah, oh, damn it. Wait. Hey, Gramps. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. It happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? What? That escalated. You didn't even ease in the conversation. If they're talking about powers, I don't think we should tell them. I guess I'm leaning towards hiding a secret because I don't think it's something you have to share. Um, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is Maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... I didn't tell him. I, I won't tell where, Lynn. Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? You don't know him? Damn, I shot at him. Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, 
Just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. So here it is. It's there. good to see you in my lair. <laughs> you know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? Why? No idea. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. But trust me, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, so you turned it off? Steven sure takes his hobby. <clears throat> Is that Madre? Oh, God. you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I... I, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. So here is we are right here. Well, <clears throat> even they don't know why Madre left. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you, like, throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night. Believe it or not. For real? <laughs> That's so cool. She was such a good dancer. Mm. We danced the hustle. <laughs> and I, I knew I was going to mm. marry that woman. Aww. By the way, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds so very cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd show what it is if only these hips allowed me to. Who did this? Oh, it was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> uh, uh. <clears throat> wow, is that you? Oh, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. really great day. <laughs> ah, I wish you'd been here. Uh, uh. Wait, what did he work as? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I just gotta unscrew this. I can't watch porn on the laptop, he's bad anyways. <laughs> Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. <laughs> I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. 
Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. What? But no fish? Okay, then. I just like to keep a tank of water. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. Uh. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? <sighs> Escape to pleasure? Man, does Claire read all these? Yikes. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> Too bad it's broken. It is? He's bad. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Oh, I thought you read the romance novels. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Apple pies, eggnog, and more. All right. Let's pick this up. Jeez, I told him about leaving his toys around. Damn, I never listen. I'm pretty sure I could have prevented the cussing, but the other stuff, I don't know about that. Uh, I gotta do laundry. Okay. Do we... Oh, we find Daniel first? I thought we were doing laundry. Oh yeah, we gotta find him and then do laundry. Peekaboo. Oh, he's not here. Uh... I get that he's sick of all this shit, but why are we playing this game? Oh. He is not here. Oh, bed. He's not here? Oh, wow. Oh my god, he better not be in the other room. Can you look around? It's weird. Sometimes I feel like we're complete strangers. Which we kind of are. I don't see him in there. I know you're in there. Gotcha! What the? Uh, Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. What? I just let him go like that? Alright, then. I know, I know. Boring rules. Right. Alright. Let's get it over with. I mean, these are your own laundry. Oh god, what's Daniel doing? 
All right. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. Is it that room? No. Man, this house is complicated. It's over here. Magic. Okay. Is there anything here to look at? Do I just put it? I don't separate it? How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. What about detergent? No? Hey, that's it? Are you sure? I'm not missing anything? I, I can't tell. What the hell are you doing? Well, what is he doing? You know what, dude? We're not supposed to be here. Who was it? I don't know. Uh, some kid? It was just a prank, Sean. I know. Just... Be careful, okay? Don't worry. Oh, you could do something here. Oh, no. No, no, no. Hell no. What is he doing? Boring laundry? Done. Time for fresh air. What? I thought we cleaned the room, no? No? Okay, well... Yeah, we cleaned the room. <sighs> Easy clap. Come on, man. I put all your toys in the trash, dude. Of course not. But next time you bail on me, maybe I will. Uh, okay. We tidy it up. Ooh, oh my god. Can't believe Steven spent his whole life building this. He's a real artist. Uh, I feel like it's a bad idea to play with that in. I don't think I'll touch it. I'm a guest here, so... Feels so good to be safe at last. At least we can go out now. Just kidding, we can't. We're trapped. We go through the side door. Oh, he's just... Ch what? Careful! Sean! Oh, shit! Got you! Seriously, man! <laughs> Pussy. Oh my god. Don't use that language in here. God damn it. Oh, wait. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Is there any other options that Daniel can do? I guess not. Let's go. All right. Time to see the sun again. Daniel, you ready? We can go out now. Yes! Wait for me! Oh, man, finally! Feels so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! What did Claire say? What? Come back. Wait, he just went back in? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's just like, I don't know. Check this out. This place is actually kind of nice. Wonder what it's like in the summer. Uh, it's probably green. We're out for a jog. Oh my god, that tree is shaking. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look!
<gasps> Did you see that? See what? Um, see what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power Bear. bear. <laughs> oh, man! I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Um. Fuck. Why is this hard? I guess. Oh, uh. Yeah. There are grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it damn? Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? What? A guy was falling, and he saved him by using his powers, but it wasn't like a decision where there are many different outcomes but because if, if it's in that situation then i would say you remind him the rules and what if the next time something happens so fast and daniel could do something but because you're like no you shouldn't do it in this circumstances that it would be wrong or some shit huh i am leaning towards reminding him the rules even though the circumstance is different everything about this situation is different I know you only wanted to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah, but it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Daniel. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Okay? Daniel. Remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you didn't say that. Fuck. That kitten never listens. I didn't even uh, get to explore the other side before I went, so rip. <sighs> Tango didn't give a shit about what I told him yesterday. Wolf Squad. I 
At least he didn't make a mess again. Yeah, Marty's options are gone. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Open all the doors now. Damn, there already... I thought something bad happened, to be honest. Oh, fuck. What? I can't wash my face anymore? Oh, right. Sunday morning. Claire and Steven must be at church. Huh, I'm surprised they didn't drag us along, too. Actually, it's a better idea we stay hidden. Oh, you could go on his computer. <sighs> Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. Um, I could just delete my browser history after I'm done. Nah. I'm not gonna look at it. It's like it's a bad idea, even if we delete it. Well, oh maybe you could use God. the phone. Well, they're away. It's been more than a month since I ditched my phone. Maybe the police stopped tracking us. Look, I honestly regretted this decision of not calling Lila in the last episode, but I thought it was more reasonable not to. But now that I'm already not calling her, I think it's better we just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, they put a tree up. We had a good time decorating the tree together last night. Daniel loved it. Plus, everything will be traced back to the grandparents' house, which is bad. We want to keep the grandparents safe. Uh, you can't do anything. You just have to go outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, then, uh, I guess I'll go outside. Who is that on the wall? Lincoln? I don't know. Just kidding, you gotta go out the front door. Dude, move your ass. Who knows what Daniel's doing over there? Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Morning, sleepyheads. We let you sleep in today while we're at church back by noon for lunch see you in a bit like grandma and grandpa the christmas tree is perfect good job kids thank you for tidying up a bit hey i know you could just read it but i kind of just want to see if i can read their cursive yeah it's perfect all right Ooh, nice scenery. Okay. Let's get this brack back home now. Oh, hey, so... Actually, let me check this side real quick. Wow, that's so nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Alright, there is nothing here. Damn, this house is decked out. Merry Christmas. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. The Ericsons, yeah, this way. I recognize their car and this place from uh, Chris, Captain Spirit. <laughs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. Mm. We had to look through this in the last, not episode, but it was uh, pretty cool, I guess. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill him. Oh my god. Reminding him the rules is nothing. Hold on. Can I just like look around real quick? One second, Daniel. Ooh. All the beer cans. Oh, that's great. I can't walk upstairs. Probably because the snow is there. That's weird. You could access their backyard by walking around. Wow. Looks like someone paid the high price here. Pick up? At this point, you probably won't miss one eye. Hey, I got a souvenir. Uh, is it a good idea to add it now? <laughs> Wait, am I missing all of these? Fuck. Nah, let's add it later. Uh, ooh, there's a swing. Sit? No, no sit. Ooh. Wonder what went on between this kid and his dad yesterday. It was pretty weird. Uh oh. All right, we better hurry. Stop them. I think it's already too late, but. Let's pretend we made it on time. Dude, move your ass. Wow. That's a lot of beer. <sighs> Daniel! What's going on here? <gasps> Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Uh, I guess it's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Damn, it's Jake Drew. Thank you so much for the reset, man. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. It's so awesome. I was about to say uh, Wakanda forever, because his signal was... Diablo Loco. Professor Diaz. Diazblo. <laughs> Silver Runner or El Diazblo? I guess since theirs is like superhero name, I guess I'll do Silver Runner. How about the Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm. Not bad. That's true. You're a great runner. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out. 
Or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Mm. We're broke. And they'll, they will worry. But I'm glad they're finally getting the tree, because in Captain Spirit, they never got their tree. Sure. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Okay, well, I don't remember. Fuck. I think the insect is a fucking villain, though. That looks creepy. The bear is obviously a hero. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? I'm pretty sure this is the villain. Careful. It may be tricky. What is the pirate? Fuck, I don't remember. Would there be a bunch Look of... Look closely. Closely? What the fuck? I guess the car and the dino would be villains. Careful. It may be tricky. It is tricky. The fuck? I guess they're heroes. Interesting. Mmm, confirm. Alright. Okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kinda took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroid, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Aren't you afraid? Maybe it's not a good idea to disclose all your powers like this. That Mantroid guy could be watching you, you know? Even better. So he'll know he better stay away from us. Anyway, you shouldn't let anyone know about this. Not even your father. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Um, let's not get too personal. <laughs> well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. Oh, yeah. I saw that drawing you made of him. With that 
badass blazing sword. I made it to thank him for making the treehouse. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. <laughs> Obviously. All hail Captain Spirit, the first and only carpenter vigilante. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Damn, I feel like maybe we shouldn't have left. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. What? I don't even know. Man, I've been choosing everything on the left side. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. Don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow. So many trees. But what if, Whoa. I mean, if Chris pretends to like use it, cocoons. his dad would just be Creepy. like, oh, he's you crazy or something. Don't worry. I'll be around. Okay, I don't know about that one. Maybe I should have chosen the other one. I don't know. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. What if we meet Claire here? Actually, we already have a tree. Like, he shouldn't know that he has powers, but nor should we tell him. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? Hello. Oops. 
find Daniel a Christmas present? Uh, what am I looking at? Behold, the giant condom machine. Okay, that is weird. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. All right, we'll sweetie. have to tame the See one we like? want. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While he's still busy with Chris. Hmm. Too thin. You're right. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Come on, you wanted to come? Stop pouting for a change. Can we help? Let's look at another one. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Why does the cam keep going back up? Let's look at another one. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. They probably throw it away. Ooh. There is some fun stuff here. Dear Santa. We've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Whoa. The guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Bet he'd love this. Can I take a picture in this? No? Okay. Uh... Ten dollars? What the fuck? Claire and Steven definitely have a kink for Christmas. Bet they like these. Uh... That was weird. I have fifteen. That's not a good idea to spend it. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. Lol. Oh my god, is that the bear? We only sell handmade. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. Thirty bucks. Holy shit. Um... Five dollars. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Fuck. I don't want to give away or... Uh... The Reynolds? Everybody knows Steven. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Oh, no. He's just... an old family friend. Gotcha. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. But maybe I should have said the Ericsons. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Can I get that cider? I don't know, man. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. Ooh, old toys. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. Oh god, the cam. Keeps going back up. Uh. Sweet guitar. <laughs> she looks so out of place here. Cool. We'll eat for food.
It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality We play the game with skillful ends And so I asked for your demands Give me your love, give me your gun And he traced us back to where we begun And so the morning came Swept the night away, and I was looking for a way to disappear amongst the quiet things and all these empty streets. I found a way, I found a way to reappear. Wow, you made it all the way through. Weird. You got a crush on me or something? No. What? Uh, um, no, I... I mean, it, it was pretty cool. I... I just... <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. <laughs> you have a great voice. You should be on one of those... singing shows. That's kinda nice. Not really my thing, though. I hate TV. Show business shit. Well, thanks for the music, and good luck. See ya. Should I give money? I'm broke. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. <sighs> what does it say? Speak? Anyone interested? Hey. Hey. Miss me already? <laughs> what? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Now we are. Kinda. That sounds... complicated. Trauma? <sighs> yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kinda hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs and... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> And what's your name? Oh, uh, 
Sean, I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Fuck, I gave money to a stoner. Uh, I feel like there's, they're gonna think I like her or something when I say she looks cool. Mm, Mike, I don't know. <laughs> hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of there. <laughs> Oh, the froze joined forces. You're already perverting him, Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Mm, Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? No. The fuck is working in trouble too? I feel like this is a much easier decision. I will not prank him. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. They're already leaving. Oh yeah, that's by a a tiny gift. The best Christmas wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly We special. only sell handmade Five local bucks. products. Come take a look. <laughs> Ooh. Reminds me of that lovely rocket Daniel made for me once. Did you see that? On oh, fucking believable. Yeah, always the same thing with these people. I wasn't such a jerk teenager. Was I? I'm gonna get a small thing. I can't choose a green one. Did you see that? Oh, oh okay. fuck. Um, I'd like one of those snowman things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Did Mission accomplished. On we better leave now. Yeah, before Clarence to even come back. Please. I wasn't such a jerk teenager. Was I? <laughs> oh hey! I do weddings and bar mitzvahs as well. Anyone interested? Please. Anyone? I I want to leave. Oh my god. Whoa. This guy looks on edge. Let's not talk to him. 
I don't want to risk anything because he was like, he's gonna cough, cough, so we're out of there. But, yeah, we should get a small gift for the grandparents. They'd probably be mad, but it's the thought that counts. Um, is that him? Nope, that's some random dude. I, are they, oh, they're already done? Damn. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Damn, he almost hit the other car from backing it out. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? <laughs> Who? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that girl. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! Anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a Wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. You two seem to get along well. <laughs> I, I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris <laughs> deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. Uh, hey, how long are you staying at your grandparents? Ah, uh, I feel like why might be a little too out there. I don't know. Depends on how long Stephen and Claire will put up with us. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. They're so nice, but yeah, they have their problems too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad will <laughs> No way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. You have to go? This is such a bad idea. The door- We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. Yeah, I could do that with a hammer, but let's try and find the key instead, all right? This is such a bad idea. I'm just idea. gonna clean up real quick. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Is it in this room? Oh my god, it's in that room, huh? I feel like it is. Sharp objects. Dude, <laughs> Bit this like Claire. This is where we get kicked out. <sighs> Locked drawer. There's no way we stay here, so. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Fuck. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Is that us too? <laughs> Still super cute, though. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. Yeah. So young. When they were married. <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Well. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. How do you know they're sleeping pills? I guess it kind of... <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Definitely not the one. The one Way we pick too it up. small. But let's see what it opens. Oh, the vanity drawer. Sean, let me up. 
Oh my god. I might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. I can't. F okay, Stephen. Where do my you bad. hide this key? I don't really see Stephen listening to old school pop rock music. We clearly don't share politics, but at least Stephen doesn't preach. All right. Yeah. yeah nothing. Not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Is it above? Oh. Damn. Too high for me. Chair? What? Chair? Oh, it does it for you. What's the sound? Would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had tons of things to tell. Karen's smile in this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. <sighs> that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Small town hero starter pack. <sighs> Shit. Wish I had the chance to find my thing, too. What? It's not here either? This is bad. I don't know where it is. What the fuck, Sean? You're coming or what? I swear. I'm gonna open the store without your help. If you don't hurry up. I didn't... Is it really not in there? But if you break open the door, then... We have to get into that room before they come back. Ooh, the vase. Yep, it's empty. I feel like he's gonna break it with. Oh, oh my god. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. Oh my god, we did it. Don't break it, please. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left? I'm sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I don't recognize any of these games. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Uh, that's not touching that. Wait, do we have to touch it? Ooh. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Uh, you get the whole house to yourself like Queen I told you before I'm my stupid brother. Keaton? Is such an immature boy, even though he's the oldest of all my siblings. He thinks so cool now just because he was has the driver's license. Whatever. Just wait till we can drive, then we can visit each other. I hear my dad yelling about something, so I gotta bail before he gets to me. Please write back soon, and I'll write 
as soon as you do. You're only for your pen pal. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Choir. I hear the green choir singing the forest in the ancient gray. Robert me in their wood spell, their song. The roofs like fuses that explode in reverse. And I hide in my heart hearing the sound that makes me feel older than the forest, older than you. But younger than the crying river at my feet. If I slid into the soil with the voices muffled like my face in the pillow so nobody knows I'm there. I could sneak in through the wormholes, but that would be lonely? But that would only? That would only lead down. Oh. Would only lead down. So, so over the treetops of the river, I feel myself leaving forever. Damn, that's so bright. Is that an amethyst? Mm. She was into new age know. bullshit. These pictures are so... Random. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the this same playlist thing is boring as hell. Any picture of mom in our home. <sighs> I miss my music. Let's not play it. Oh shit. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Can I miss my skateboard? And going to the park. With Lion. Can like to take pictures of strangers when we walk down the streets. Never been a big fan of hiking, but here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. How weird are these sunglasses? Huh. They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during eclipses. Eclipses? You know, when the sun hides behind the moon. Oh, yeah. That must be so cool to watch. It's like... She almost never used those. Hi, teddy bear. Wait, I want to see the teddy bear. Bro. Alright, I can't see a teddy bear. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Really? Oh my god. Don't take it. No. Is that it here? So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you. Oh. These letters look pretty recent. Let's look through her shit. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. They're gonna be home, huh? What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a... Uh, P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. 
shit. Excuse me, what are you both doing in here? Except visibly, ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry, but we just wanted to- No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen, they went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. You, you lied to us. We found mommy's letter. She wants to see us. She's not my daughter anymore or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed, she just feels guilty. I can't hear that. Listen, Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just gonna change around here if you wanna stay. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Wait, so we live together, his leg is just broken? We lied to Grandpa too, fuck. Because I know they're going to freak out if they see the power to it. Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's a miracle. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we going to do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. 
I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go up here. You better come back. Hold on a second. Here, this is your cape. You're the real superhero. Thanks, Tris. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go. Uh, take the troll forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris, <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa! Day. A fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that he had to find out anyway before he did something dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and Listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? 
I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Inano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's weird. But I like it. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard.
All right. Ooh. You threw a snowball at Daniel? Fuck. That was an accident. Damn, everybody threw it at Daniel and Mushroom? Okay, this is an accident. I thought if he threw it at, like, not his head, but, like, his chest, he would use his powers, but he didn't. You intervened and scared a cougar off. Damn. You let Daniel kill the cougar. You prayed together with Claire and Daniel? No one prayed? You refused to pray? I can't even see everybody's results. Uh, you helped with extra chores. Wow, nobody did it. Well, I don't know who these 100% is. You pretend you didn't know anything. I should have confessed, to be honest. Now, but if I guess if I didn't save him at the end, then I guess it didn't matter. You reminded Daniel of the rules after he saved Chris. I think that was a good idea. You didn't use Steven's laptop to log into your profile. Yeah. You didn't use the phone to call Lila. I didn't want to. You couldn't talk to Lila and lie to her mother. You couldn't talk to Lila and told the truth to her mother. Oh my god, you don't talk to her. You talk to her mom. Huh. You gained Chris trust and got him open up about his father. You gained Chris trust and didn't ask about his father. You didn't gain Chris's trust. Fuck. I should should be on the second one. I didn't want to ask about it, but I did want his trust. You told Dan to stop lying to Chris about his power. I think that was better. You listened to Cassie's song to the end. Oh my god, you guys didn't listen to her song? You didn't draw for Chris? What? Fuck, I missed it. This is exactly why I don't... One of the things I don't like about Life is Strange 2 is that if you don't get to a certain point where Chris is, you completely miss out on the dialogue. And half of the people in the first episode just missed out on the dialogue. They were like, wait, we didn't see him there. Just because of the fact that Chris just runs around. You bought a Christmas present for Daniel. You stole. You found several Christmas presents. I did find it, but I didn't take it. Had an honest conversation with Charles about his problems. You didn't get involved in Charles' problems. I didn't think it's my place. I'm a kid, technically. I actually am a kid. You let Daniel use his power to help Steven. And he wasn't hurt. Yeah, so he chose to pull Steven out together and injure his leg. Yeah. So, he's, he got hurt either way. There's no way. It's safer to prevent even more injuries by using his power. The cop chased you and Chris was hit by a car. What? It, what? Chris get hit? Cops didn't chase you and Chris helped you escape. Whoa. Okay. Daniel continued to swear. That was my fault, but I didn't want to be a dick either. Yeah, I didn't want a dice game without cheating. Fuck. Yeah, I, I just sucked at the game. Yeah, I didn't kill his cougar. Yep, they were not able to bury a mushroom. Yeah, that, that's basically these two. Daniel agreed to pray. He could refuse? Daniel didn't want to tidy the room. But, okay, so all of my consequences, all of my choices are affecting why Dano doesn't want to do all this shit. Daniel wasn't asked to help with the chores. That's even worse. Daniel obeyed and told Chris the truth about his power. Oh, you could tell him and he would lie? Damn. Overall, Daniel was repressed from using his power. That's good. Daniel didn't have to save Chris. Oh. Damn, I really want to see. That's sad, but I really want to see what happened. Daniel didn't blame anyone since Chris was fine. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. I'll show you around. 